Hello everybody, this is Jaron from MarineAndReef.com. Today we're going to do a video showing you how to program your Rossmott waiver pump controller in infrastructure mode. Infrastructure mode is where the waiver is going to be connected to your home Wi-Fi network so that you don't have to directly connect to the waiver to make changes to your pump programs. We're showing it today on an Android tablet. We have a keyboard connected so you can see which buttons I'm pushing. You can download the Rossmott app, which is Rossmott InTouch, from either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. It's available on both devices. There are some slight differences between the iOS and Android version of the app, but in general, they're going to be very, very similar. At this point, you should go ahead and download the app, put it on your device. You also want to get your waiver, plug it into the wall. The white light in the center of the waiver should be on and you can go ahead and connect the pumps you want your waiver to control up to the waiver. They can be in the tank fully submerged but they shouldn't be on. You're going to have to tell the waiver which pumps are connected to it first before that happens. Alright, the first thing we're going to want to do is open the settings on our device. From there we're going to open the Wi-Fi and the Rossmott waiver actually emits its own Wi-Fi network. We're going to search for it here. There we are. It should be Rossmott followed by a bunch of little numbers as you have here. That'll be the network that the waiver is in to get it connected. So I'm going to go back to the main home screen and now we're going to open the Rossmott app. All right. So this should be the first thing displayed on the app. You can see we have below create new aquarium or access an existing aquarium. In this case, we're starting from scratch, so we're going to do Create New. The first thing it's going to ask us is if we're connected to the waiver's Wi-Fi network, and we are. We started doing that, so we're just going to go to Next. Connecting to waiver. Alright, it connected automatically. This should happen if your waiver is brand new. It may say that the waiver needs to update. The updates will happen automatically. That's perfectly fine. It may take a few minutes. Just wait for it to update and then you'll go to this screen here. From there we're going to go to go home. Here we get to name the aquarium. This is on my home tank so I'm just going to name it home. Go to next. You can go ahead and set a password. Um, I'm going to set one here for my um, personal use. You can always change this later. Alright, here's the step where we're going to set the waiver up in infrastructure mode. To do this, we're going to have to first select our home's Wi-Fi network. This is my home's network. I'm going to click there and enter your Wi-Fi password. It is extremely important that you get your password correct. If you don't, we'll have to reset the waiver and try again. You're then going to be asked, do you want to connect in automatic or manual mode? Automatic is going to be easier. If automatic doesn't work, we can go back and try it manual. Automatic is generally the way to go here. Infrastructure mode is active. Now connect to your home network. All right, we're going to press OK. So the next thing we need to do is go to our settings and connect to our home network. Mine has automatically connected back to my home network. Your device should as well. Then we're going to go back into the app. You're going to press scan. All right. Now our device is going to search for the waiver on our home network while it searches, which can take a few minutes. Just wait, should pop up, let you know that the waiver is on your home network. All right, so here we are. It has found the waiver and connected to it. We're going to press OK. And here's the waiver that we created. It's named Home. You can later go back and add a picture here if you'd like. It makes the dashboard a little bit prettier. All right, it's going to load up the waiver, and here we are at the main page. The next thing we need to do is go to Waiver Menu, Setup. Here we have Device 1 and Device 2. This is where we're going to tell the waiver which pumps are connected to it. Device 1 is going to be the cord on the left. It is marked as Device 1. I tend to make it my left pump because it makes sense for me. 
We're going to make it an MX4100, which is the pump that I have connected. Personalize your device is where we name it. I'm just going to call it left. And I'm going to leave the color as is. You can change the color if you'd like. Let's put it on. All right, so we're adding the pump. And now the pump is on in my aquarium. We're going to then repeat the process for the right pump. I have another MX4100 connected. You will want to change the color. It'll make it easier when the pumps are represented with different colors. So I'm going to make this one this yellow green. I'm going to call this pump right because it's on the right side of my tank. And then we're going to go to add device. All right, so we have both pumps added. Now we can start programming, programming the pumps how we'd like. We're going to go to chart. All right, so you can see here the left pump is what I have selected. I can click here, go to the right pump. The first thing we can do to help program these pumps is just double tap and we've added a point. So what this will do is it tells the pump to reach a certain percentage of power at a particular time of day. I generally like my pumps at a fairly high power level so I'm gonna go ahead and um, drag the points up a little bit. I'm gonna keep it a little bit lower down um, in the evening up during the day when I want them powerful. Once I'm done I'm gonna click save and now this left pump will follow the pattern that I've created for it. But then I'm going to go to the right pump and do the same thing. Keep it a little bit lower power during the evening, but during the day, we're going to keep it pretty high. You can add as many points as you like here. I only like a few personally, and it will follow that throughout the day. All right, so this is our basic programming, adding the points and the pump will switch between them. To do our more advanced programming, we're going to go to this presets button here. And here we have presets. We see we have fixed, we have fish food, we have um, off, we have cycle, we have stormy, random, the tap wave, and we can manage the active ones. So once we've created them, we can re-edit them. So I'm going to go ahead and program these pumps as I like them. We're going to start off with my favorite preset, which is the cycle preset. Now, what this preset is going to do is it's going to have the pumps ramp up and down and alternate back and forth. So the first thing you want to do is tell the pumps when they should follow this program. I'm going to start pretty early in the morning. Let's say, um, let's say we do, um, 8 a.m. as a starting point and let's have the pumps run the program say till 3 o'clock 3 p.m. all right the next thing that we're being asked for is the minimum and maximum percentage I'm gonna keep it at 1 and 100 if you say feel that when the pumps are at full power it's just way too powerful for your tank you can say drag this down and make it a little bit less or maybe you want to make the minimum a bit more. It's all up to you. This next button here, I will this, or slider rather, I will explain a little bit later. And then I'll explain these four to start. So we have T min, T max, T rise, and T fall. These are the time you want the pump at the minimum power setting, the time you want the pump at the maximum power setting, how long you'd like the pump to rise or ramp up, and how long you'd like the pump to fall. Now, this other slider that I kind of skipped over briefly is just the scale of this. So we can determine whether we want it to be in tens of seconds, single seconds, or hundredths of seconds. I actually like it to be a pretty long swell, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the slider to the tens of seconds. For the minimum time, oh, let's go put it at about 300 seconds. I think it's roughly five minutes. We'll do 300 in the max too. And then I actually like the majority of the time to be between rising and falling. So um, let's put it at 900, which is roughly around 50 minutes if my 
internal math is working properly. It is hard to get a very exact value in this. I'm okay if it doesn't wind up being perfect. Let's see if we can get it a bit more perfect just while we're at it. All right. So from there, we're going to scroll down a bit more and it's going to display the pumps that we have connected to the waiver, the left pump and the right pump. This little switch here is going to apply the setting to that pump. So right now the left pump will follow this program. We're going to apply it to the right pump too. You may notice there's this inverted switch here. So what the inverted switch will do is basically determine whether you want the two pumps to be synced up, performing the rise at the same time and the fall at the same time, or if you want them alternating. In this case, I want them alternating, so I'm going to turn the inversion on the right pump. This means that while the left pump is speeding up, the right pump is going to be slowing down and vice versa. So they'll create an alternating effect in the tank. From there, we're going to press save. And you can see on our chart here, we now have this green section and that's showing that during that time period, the pumps will be running that program. This bar here represents what current time it is and what the pumps are running now. So we can go ahead and create a lot of other presets. The cycle is probably my favorite and it's generally the most difficult one to set up. We're going to do a random one. This is like it sounds, a random chaotic flow where the pumps speed up and slow down at different time intervals. We're going to start it at 3.01 p.m. right after our previous preset ends. How about we run this one to 8 p.m. We can set the minimum and maximum. I'm going to run this a little bit higher in the minimum. I don't want things going too slow. Let's say 50% power as the minimum. We're going to apply to the left pump and apply to the right pump. There is no inversion in this because the pumps um, are not alternating back and forth like they do in the cycle mode. Press save. We've added that and now the pumps will do that during the period of time we set. The last thing I'm going to add in here is a storm mode. I do like having a storm mode throughout the day. I like this because I think it's good to st um, stir things up in the aquarium, get rid of detritus. I'm going to run it right after our last program. So we're going to run it at 8.01 p.m. And we're just going to run it for an hour. So let's have it go till 9 p.m. I want this to be pretty chaotic and powerful. Um, let's go to 50% as the minimum. We'll keep the maximum at 100 as well and we're going to apply it to both pumps. All right, we're going to press save. And it's applied. So now our pumps should follow this program throughout the day. We can add presets. We can change presets. To change them, we're going to go to the very bottom, which is manage active. We can then click on them and alter the values that we put in there before if you want to change them. We're going to cancel to go back. All right. Hopefully that was a very helpful tutorial about how to set up the Ross Mott waiver. We may do some other ones in the future to make things simple. Thank you very much for your time. And for any questions, you can feel free to reach out to support at marinandreef.com.